Okay, let me clear my screen. Okay, so uh, as you know that in PowerShell everything is object, right? So first we need to find out the command. So for that I use a get command. I put item property which is exclusively used for registry and file chain. Okay, so I get a, a certain commands that is get item property, get item property value. Okay, and you also have move a uh, new remove. Okay, so now we need to know what port number is used for RDP. So for that, we can use get item property. Get item use tab symbol so that it can autofill immediately okay now so uh you need you 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 know right in registry uh what will be the uh, location for rdp so in order to find out using powershell uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, uh grab that path for you I will just copy paste the command and then I will on the uh, GUI where I am number okay don't get confused okay get item property I am saying the path path is uh, HK local mission system current control set control terminal server in station or DPTC so I push enter now I get a lot of values okay so you have got uh, these many things so you need to drag and then you need to swipe up swipe down and then check the port number so now uh, i will show you a gui session for you how i viewed it you go to current control set system system current control set control final Server, server win stations rdp okay so do you see uh, the values here there are so many values so this is what listed over here okay so in this one if you look for port p o r t port port okay so here it is showing uh, the RDP is using 3389 okay so the same output will be here which is port number 3389 but it is very uh, difficult for you to uh, swipe up and swipe down and check the value instead what we can do is we can run the same command okay so I am just selecting that object to do it select object I need the name I need the name which is port number right so I just type port number enter see it just filtered out only the port number and it gave the RDP is using the 3389 so which is exactly same as here so like that you can filter out using a command uh, select object like use a pipe symbol and then you can do it so this is how you will use the uh, PowerShell to view the RDP port number in Windows Server. That's it guys. So if you uh, uh, want to view some other settings, you can uh, use the same command. For an example, I can show you, uh, we have here PD flag something, okay. So I need to know PD flag value. So I put select object PD flag, enter. I get PD flag value here that's it so this is how you will filter out the object and see if you love it please subscribe my channel thank you for watching everyone bye bye